Hey guys, it's Linky, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install free games on your Wii U. And for this, all you need is a fucking gamepad that is working. I did it with mine that it, my gamepad like screen doesn't work, but I can still do it. <clears throat> and you're going to need an SD card. I, rem I recommend like uh, probably a 4 gigabyte or 8. And a flash drive, I would probably say... Actually, you might need the flash drive because your Wii U, it depends on the storage. So I need one because like my Wii U has no space left, so I just recommend you using it. So yeah, that's all you need. And well, I'm going to show you what you need on your like files. You're going to need to place some files on your fucking SD card. Like for instance, you're gonna need the homebrew launcher. You need to set that up. Uh, I'm gonna be showing you how to do everything. So I'm gonna try my best of my ability to show you what you're supposed to do. So let's get started. Okay, so now we're on the PC part. This is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna put a link in the description below. And this link will send send you send you to this like download link to download um <clears throat> the application to install the games on there so so this is what the, it's on GBA temp and <clears throat> this application is called a US, Wii U USB helper all you have to do is just install it so I have it installed already but <clears throat> go just go through the process of installing it just when you go through it uh, there's this thing that's gonna show up and I'm to like put a link for like the title key okay I spelled that wrong my god <clears throat> title key and you're gonna put this in there I'm gonna put that in the description too you have to put that <clears throat> and it, then you're gonna click continue and if there is one for the 3ds but I think you're not gonna be interested in that because I don't even know how to do it for the 3ds so that's all okay now after you got all that done and installed you're gonna want to open the application and right now i'm gonna need you to put your sd card in so i'm gonna grab it out on my wii u right now and put it in and mine is a 16 gigabyte so i mean size doesn't really matter okay that's for stupid uh <laughs> So, I'm um, gonna, the application, okay, this is all the stuff I have in here, so, um, okay, we're, I'll show you that, what to do there after, after the application opens, so, <clears throat> let's wait for that, and here's the application opening up, and every single time you open it, there should be something saying that there's, like, that new games like these right here, for example, all of these, so, yeah, it just tells you every single time, I mean, it's great, so. So, I would say to install a random game that you want. And, uh, I, w I actually, I think I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna have to do, and <laughs> my god, I can't speak. I'm gonna have to install one, so let's, I'm just gonna f pick one out, and it has to be really small size for me. Because my flash drive doesn't have enough space or a lot of games, so let's see what's gonna be. Okay, let's go with this one. I'm gonna attempt to install, if it doesn't have enough space, I'm just gonna leave it. So, <clears throat> this is what you want to do. Um, okay, this is what you want to do. You're going to want to choose <clears throat> the game, obviously, and all that. <clears throat> Hold on. <clears throat> Copy the SD card. Whoa, did it just... Did it open that? Okay. <clears throat> now you're going to say download games. On the right side it's gonna show the download manager so i'm gonna put it click make sure to click this copy the sd card because so you don't have to like move the files and take twice as long so after this is installed i'm gonna show you the rest of what you have to do on the wii so, U. now that you download it and you click the copy to the sd card it will now be in your sd card and you'll probably notice there's a new folder and open that and here's the games you probably installed and here it is link to the past and here's all the files i need for the game so now this is the part where i'm gonna need you to like in install some stuff i'm pretty sure some people will have the 
apps. For instance, well, homebrew launcher, people probably have that. But now I'm gonna say, put a link in the description below and you're gonna need a new file and it's gonna be, what's it called? It's gonna be called App Store and the App Store, well, it's gonna show a lot of applications you could use. And yes, yeah, so I'm gonna put it in the description. You're gonna need to download it and put it in here. So if you don't have it, it has to be, it has to be in a folder and you're outside the, like it has, it doesn't have to be in the folder. So Wii U, we gotta start with Wii U, then click it, then apps, then all the applications. So if you don't have the homebrew launcher, then you're gonna have to go look for a tutorial because I'm just like too, don't, too lazy to just put it. I'm just gonna put the, the app store because that's all you're gonna need. So now that you're on your homebrew launcher, this is what you're gonna want to do. You're going to, you're gonna see a new application called HB App Store. You're gonna want to load that thing up. Then it's gonna, this application is gonna load a lot of apps and you can install them. And, but you only need like two of them right now. So I'm gonna show you which one are those. So you can install this one. The W, the Wii U USB helper tool. I, I didn't do it. I, I just pronounced that wrong. I don't, I'm not. I don't use it, but I haven't installed. But I don't know. I'm just probably use it one day. And you're gonna need Sig Patcher 2 HBL, or you can use Mocha CFW, but I still use Sig Patcher. And you're gonna want to use install WP installer. And there's two of them. And how you can tell the difference is just look at look at what it says and there's a wire right here where my pointer is at so that's all you're that's all you're gonna need for now then after that just just go back to, when that's installed you're gonna want to go back to the homebrew launcher or yeah the homebrew launcher and this you're gonna want to go to you're gonna want to go to i'm pretty sure you have to load up sick patcher first so load up stick patcher and when that's loaded you're gonna go to you're gonna go to WP installer mod Y so load that then it's gonna show it's gonna show the games that you have on your SD card in that install folder so for me I have to like press like up the d-pad to change which one I'm gonna want to use so I'm gonna go to the. Is it more area? What the fuck? I'm gonna want to go to Legend of Zelda: Link to the Past, and you could cl click A or X on the gamepad if you. Okay, click A to install it on your system memory, and click X to install for USB. Install into your USB storage. So I'm gonna choose uh, USB storage because I'm pretty damn. Uh, actually, no. I'm gonna install into my system memory because I'm pretty sure Zelda is a really small file, so we're gonna try it out. And it's gonna be installing it depending on the size of the game you chose. It's gonna take a while, but Zelda for, it's really small, so 30, 30, 38, 6, and me. It's gonna install pretty fast. I just chose a really small game for an example. And when it's done, it's just gonna be installed. So when it's done installing, it's gonna take you back to the Wii U menu, and this is what, and the game should be installed now. So I re if you're gonna do this, I recommend you doing one at a time with the f games. And yeah, that's pretty much it. It's really simple. To, it's really simple to do. You just need all those two. So I'm gonna go to the home menu, and go to the home menu. And yes, that's pretty much it. The game should be on there. Oh, it's gonna load up me too. Okay. We're gonna close out of that. I'm gonna disable my gamepad. And I'm gonna tell you one thing. Every single time, if you're gonna wanna play one of your games, I recommend you loading up Sig Patcher. Like, go on the Homebrew Launcher and load up Sig Patcher, because sometimes it won't allow you to, like, play the games. So here it is, that's enough proof. Last time the game wasn't there, and now it is. So uh, now I can just play Link Legend of Zelda. Thank you the best. 
and i hope this helped i'm i mean i tried my best so yes um i'm gonna tell you one thing that uh i'm i only did this because like bully did make a video like three parts so i decided to do it in one whole part so i so I, I the explanation would be easier if i explained it and i did explain it and i could help you so here's proof that it's gonna work i'm just gonna load up the game and yeah so if you're gonna do this if you don't have a flash drive i recommend you getting a big like a really big size like a 64 gigabyte so you can install like a lot of games here's the game i'm gonna tell you one thing you could also install free dlc too that's what i did for my smash super smash bros and well it works so yeah so here's the game and it works and all that so hope this helped you and yes yeah, so if you guys want me to do another tutorial just comment below and ask and one more thing if you need help you could just comment below or you could just text me on skype so i'm gonna leave my skype name in the right there and yeah so that's it thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed